Hello guys, I am jumping right into the video going in with my Jamaican Mango and Lime Resistant Lock and Gel Formula as well as my Rat Tail Comb. So I have one row to finish here so I am just going to let you see what I do. I just part like so, run my comb through my hair, apply my product, then I'm going to go back through with my comb to make sure that it's evenly distributed and then I begin to twist. So if you are a returning member of the Pride, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. We are all lions and lioness here embracing our manes. So once you subscribe, you join the Pride. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I want you to be a member. Go ahead and do that. While you're doing that, make sure you hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss whenever I upload a video. I know I have been gone for a little minute you know, uh, sometimes you have to take a little break, you know, and recharge. I had to recharge and you know what? I'm back pumped and ready to go. But we are just going to move on to the next section and I'm just going to repeat those same steps, y'all. Now, I can say this set took a long time. It took me about a good 12 or more hours just because I wanted uniformity, I wanted symmetry, I wanted everything to be as perfect as possible. When it comes to my hair, I am a perfectionist and it can literally suck the soul out of me if I'm trying to do it for too long. So I made sure I took my time to take breaks when necessary, to eat when I was hungry, to do all of that. Cause I know sometimes, you know, when you're trying to get a style done, you be trying to work through so you can finish. But honey, you need to stop and hydrate and eat. You need to do all of that. So I was doing all of that, taking my time. I had my mirror set up behind me, my vanity mirror in front of me. I had the lighting correct. I was making sure I got them crispy parts, y'all, because y'all know I like some crispy parts. And for my products, I use the Jamaican Mango and Lime Resistant Lock and Gel Formula and my rat tail comb that's it if i needed to spritz my hair with water i had my spray bottle and y'all look at that curl i love my type 4b 4c hair <laughs> um but yeah i'm literally just gonna um talk to you while i show you what i did i know some of you guys like um when i show more of the actual tutorial um, I did not get the back view so I do apologize about that just because my setup was so intense it was a lot going on and I was like no I need absolute straight concentration but yeah it it was relaxing it was a pretty therapeutic process you know it's just very therapeutic when I do my hair you know it's time to myself get to get away connect with myself think relax and whatnot yeah i love doing my hair but y'all can we get into the shine i've only used one product right now and my hair is shining my hair is bouncy it's moving she feels amazing and i'm like i'm just so excited i'm gonna do a separate video explaining why i decided to lock my hair again and you know i can also show a comparison between the first set and this set if that's something that you're interested in just let me know down below also i will be doing a lock count video as well as an interlocking video i know y'all i did say last time that i did not want to interlock my hair oh look a here look i had to stop talking I know I said that, but I am going to space out my interlocking sessions a lot further so that way, you know, my hair isn't looking too thin because when you interlock your hair too much, it can become very thin and I'm not trying to do that. I, you know, I, I decided to do that route. But yeah, uh, you make sure you watch this whole video because I got some pictures at the end. I installed these locks on October the 12th it is now november the 10th so i'm two days away y'all from my one month anniversary i have had no regrets i have had no hesitations no nothing i am loving it i got a bunch of different styles that i've been doing if you want to see a video on that as well make sure you spam the comments make sure you just drop everything that you want to see from me because i tell you i'm going hard that's what i'm doing
Also, let me know if you have any questions. Just leave any questions you have down below. If I have enough, I will make another Q&A video. I'll probably ask you guys on Instagram as well a couple of questions and I can do a separate Q&A video. Um, but y'all, I never wanted to take out the first set of locks that I had. I loved how they were transforming. I love the different styles that I could do, the hang time, but I just was not satisfied with the part and then the interlocking. But it's all right because we're back. And look at this, look at Lionel right now. I'm telling you this whole section right now is about to be a ton of slow-mo. So it's like a slow-mo overload right now. <laughs> but y'all, the parting is the way I want it. The size is the way I want it. I'm loving her so much. I cannot wait for them to mature and swell up. Look at that parting. <laughs> I can't deal. I'm sorry, y'all. I was too close as well. But I'm just giving you some side profiles, some back profiles, some front, everything. I'm giving you everything right now. And yes, I did not interlock for two weeks because I wanted to make sure we was good to go. <laughs> As you can see, I'm super happy. Put it up in a cute little ponytail. You, you know, some little tendrils. I'm just excited. Just excited. Different styles, different everything. I cannot wait for the growth, the hang time. Look at how beautiful that is. Like, I'm literally drooling right now looking at this. Like, it's crazy. And as promised, we are going to get into the pictures now. These pictures are from the beginning of my installation all the way up until now. So these pictures take course over the last month. Um, but yes, when I posted this picture on Instagram, a lot of you were like, mm, are these locks or are these twists? Someone even said a wash and go. I'm like, girl, that ain't no wash and go. What the world? <laughs> <laughs> but y'all those two buns are my favorite we went to the park this day have my edges laid she looking great she looking healthy she looking crispy she looking sexy but yes y'all i have just been enjoying my micro locks i don't think uh you know a couple of y'all have been asking are these sister locks i don't think they're small enough to be sister locks so i label them as micro locks but again i will be counting them in a separate video here i had it in like a braid earlier that day and got a little crinkly effect i enjoyed it um but yeah this is before i interlocked of course and y'all i interlocked like almost two weeks ago and i'm already getting some new growth like listen you're not about to be able to tell me nothing in the next six months to a year because <laughs> she about to be down my back <laughs> let me stop but this is when i freshly interlock as you can tell my parts are a lot clearer they're more crispy and y'all i did the two point rotation but i will save all of that information for a separate video i'm just enjoying exploring different styles y'all as you can see here, she fluffing up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we went to the park this day. We took Kilu to the park for the first time, y'all. And she did so good. I had such a ball. She had a ball over there panting. That's my girl. That's my girl. I love her to death. But yes, y'all, I hope you're enjoying my hairstyles, my one month time lapse. As you can see, they're getting a lot fluffier as opposed to when I first started. They're frizzing up and I'm enjoying that frizz, y'all. I am. A lot of people don't like the frizz, but I do because, honey, that's just bringing more volume and I'm okay with that. Look at her. Look at her. So cute. I feel like I'm talking so much, but the excitement is real. I'm sorry. But y'all, I had her in a low bun this day for work and I let her out and she was stretched a little bit. Um, but I guess they look more sister lockish right here because they're stretched and thinner. But um, yeah, but y'all, I even did some Bantu knots on her. So I'm going to show her right now because she was sassy. All the space you know I'm a space cadet Big white passion in my habitat Ain't a lot of stains like a laser tag Fuck a rich bitch you have a rich well, ain't that the perfect plug for TikTok, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because more things are on the way, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!